have like a live demo for you today and kind of like a mini review I guess I don't know um, anyways, I had posted that I had got this potato peeler at the Dollar Tree on my Instagram, and a couple of you wanted to see a demo of it. So, um, I'm going to do a demo of this potato peeler. I'm not quite sure what it's called. I will flash it on the screen here if I find out what it's called. But it's like the, I don't know what it's called in the box. I threw the box away because I, you know, I didn't think anybody wanted a demo of it. You know, it's just something plain and simple. Really sick. I've been sick for almost a week now. It'll be a week on Saturday. Um, my mom thinks it might actually be allergies. I'm not even sure what it is. I'm getting over it now, but my voice still sounds hoarse. I'm going to peel potatoes today. That's why I wanted to do it. And I, you know, wanted to get this out there for you guys before this leaves the Dollar Tree and you can't find it anymore. So anyways, <clears throat> what this potato peeler is, it's just basically a, a normal potato peeler. But it has, and it doesn't have to be potatoes. I mean, you can peel carrots and whatever vegetables and stuff you want to peel with this. But anyways, instead of making a mess like I always do because it always goes behind the trash can, whoops, this is supposed to catch it. So that's why this little convenient um, catcher thing is here. But I was just noticing it's like all scratched. I don't know if that's because of the hot water when I rinse it out. I'm not even sure. But anyways, so I'm going to show you how this peels potatoes. So when I first used this, I didn't like it because, I mean, I couldn't get it really to peel and whatever. It was stupid. And I was like, I don't like this thing. It was for a dollar. You get what you buy, you know, for your money's worth. Well, the potato pillar is like either way. You can peel this way towards yourself or you can peel away from yourself. So there's nothing in the middle. It's mostly on the sides. Um, I don't know if you guys can see that there, but the the blade is on the sides. So anyways, I peel away from me. I can't peel to me. I tried it one time and it just didn't work. So um, yeah, anyways, let me show you. So you kind of tilt it to the side when you do it. I hope you can see this all right. Tilt it to the side when you do it and you just peel your potato like so. And I have red potatoes, and they're really small, so um, it's hard to peel them anyways. You don't have to peel reds. You can eat reds with the skins on, but I don't like the skins on, and for what I'm making for dinner tonight, I don't want the skins on. Some of it does fall out on the table counter there. You do have a little bit of fallout, so you can um, fall out. <laughs> Look at me, I'm talking like makeup. Anyways, you do have a little bit of a mess, so you can still do it over the trash can. But it's nothing compared to what you would have. <clears throat> and it doesn't take off that much of the potato. It just takes off the skin. You know, some of those potato pillars are really sharp that they take a lot of the potato off. And this one doesn't. And as you see, it's all here in this nice container all you do is take the lid out take the lid off and you dump it um, sometimes potato skins get caught in here so you just need to clean that out if it's not peeling anymore um, other than that that's it for the demo I mean it's you know real easy and I can you know peel potatoes like no other um, <laughs> with it it is a little awkward to hold it because it's a different handle like you know but um, after you get used to it, it's all right. Um, I keep pushing on that, so it's coming up. I think that's why it keeps coming up. But sometimes I will hold it like this. That's weird, too. But it's more, it's like sturdier. I don't know. It just gives me more stability when I am going over the potato. And I highly recommend it for those of you that make a mess when they peel. Or you just want something that's you know kind of convenient I mean it could catch any peeling I haven't tried it on carrots or anything else I've just tried it on potatoes and I know from you know that works so I really like it and like I said you get a little bit of a mess but you know you can do it over your trash can and you won't have any mess at all and then you just dump it or you know just clean it whatever but it works really good I really like it and for a dollar you can't beat it I don't know how sturdy it's gonna be and how long it's ever gonna last me um, but as long as I have it, I will use it. So if you have any further questions, please ask them. And I will see you next time, guys. Bye.